I've got a really cool employee recognition web part to show you. This is completely free and you can implement this on your site today. I'm gonna to show you how to set this thing up, where it came from and how it works. Let's get into it. Now the first step is to set up a list. This is gonna be a, a JSON formatting sample that we're gonna be walking through. And the first step is to get a list set up for this. So I've built out this list according to how this sample is, is expecting the data to look. We've got a title column, some a couple of people fields uh, to know who the uh, who is showing rec who, who is recognizing another uh, another employee for their their outstanding work. Uh, the message that relates to that particular thing, just kind of the backstory of what happened. How did this person impact you or impact your work? Uh, there's an award types column that's a choice column, and there are specific types that are already built into this formatter that have to be used, and I'll show you how to find that. And then there's going to be some reaction tracking. So there's going to be likes and, and things like that that will, be, that will give an interactive element to this particular web part. Also, the date that uh, the recognition uh, uh, was, was received, essentially. Now, in reality, you may want a power app for this. You may want um, a, a, some sort of a, a process to collect this information. That is probably a whole different step, or it could just be a simple form using Microsoft Forms that would save to, save to this list. Once the data is here, we're going to look at this sample. This is called the Employee Recognition Card uh, JSON sample. And it was created by, if we scroll down here, Sudeep Gatak. Uh, so he created this for free for you and for everyone to be able to uh, not only show what JSON formatting can do, but also just it was a really cool sample that, the, that this person created. Uh, and you'll see above this. So first of all, thank you, Sudeep, for this sample. This is really cool. And you'll see above it, here's all those list columns that I created. You'll see the, the, the column name and the column type. Now, the columns, as you're creating them, do need to match exactly this. Obviously, the title column already exists, but the rest of these you'll want to create on a list with these data types. Then you're, you'll just populate it with some test data so you can see what this looks like. Then if we go back up to the top, Oh, and if uh, as an alternate method to creating these manually, there is uh, in the assets folder, there is a PowerShell script so that it will build out everything uh, for you. So you you could speed this process up in here. Since the, uh, I mentioned there's a choice column with specific values, you'll actually see those values right here. Commendation, team player, and milestone are built into this. So if you were to use this script, it sets the values for you. If you were to create these columns manually, then just remember that those are the three choice columns that you have to work with without adding additional functionality yourself in the JSON formatter. But once you've done that, we'll go to the JSON file. This is the actual code we need to uh, create the custom view that we'll use in our web part. In here is the is the, the whole, all the JSON that actually makes this thing work. What you need to do is on the top right corner, you'll see a copy raw file button. We're gonna click on this. So it copies all of this into the clipboard. Then back on our list, we'll create a new view we can call this uh, award view. We can just keep this as a list view because we're just gonna be changing all of this anyway. We do want this to be a public view. Click on create. And now we've got our custom view. Now we'll actually start changing this. I don't recommend changing the all items view because you do need to be able to go back and maybe manipulate this data some or change it. And that all items view is really gonna be necessary for that part. But we'll click the down arrow next to our new view, go to format current view, and then down to advanced mode. Now we can stretch this out a little bit. And all we're going to do is select everything that's in here, delete it, and then we'll paste in all of that code that was in our clipboard. If we click the, you can cl click preview to see how this is going to look, uh, but definitely click the save button and then close this panel, and now you'll see how this is going to look on a page. 
So really, really nice. Uh, I'm not even. I won't even show you these buttons yet because, uh, and how they're going to work because I want to add this to a page first. So let's go back to the home page of this site, and we'll edit this, and we'll add in a new section. I think this would look nice with a. Let me add a section, maybe a one third right section. And now to add this, we're going to be adding a list web part because this is a list that we're working with. We'll add in our the list here, which is called recognition. And then we need to edit the properties. We need to change the view to award view. And then I use for this type of thing, I usually want to hide the command bar in the see all button. So once we do that, we can click apply and republish the page. And now we've got those items here. Now there is a scroll bar here, so maybe uh, you could play around with uh, the type of section this goes in. What if we were to change this to uh, two columns? That looks better. So we, yeah, we don't have any scroll bar now. So now you could have, if you wanted it in a one third, right? You you would just need to tweak the width a little bit in that JSON formatter to to shrink it down, make it a little bit more narrow to fit in there. But definitely looks good here. And we could change the title of this from maybe just recognition to employee. Shout outs, something like that. Whatever fits within your uh, your 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 company culture, you would uh, kind of put that. But then you've got this thing, and now what will happen is people can click on these buttons, and it's actually updating the list item behind the scenes. So you can hit the applaud button, you can hit the like, you can hit the award, uh, you can actually hit these a number of times. Oh, it'll bring up the list if you click it too fast, but it'll bring these things up so that people can, you can have engagement for these things. You can celebrate the, the great work that your, your people do within your organization. A really, really fun sample. I think this is going to be useful, and it's a really, really easy way to implement custom web parts without learning how to be a developer. Now, if you want more information on how this stuff works and what all this stuff means here in the code window, then check the link below for a, a link to my JSON formatting course where I walk you through the whole process, what JSON even is all the way through building out view formatters to do things like trigger power automate flows, update list items, things like that. There's even deep linking into Teams. There's a lot of great functionality that you can do, and you can take that knowledge and you can customize this even more and make it your own. So all of those things are gonna be possible. Check that link in the description below. And if you wanna see another great JSON formatting example, then click or tap the screen and I'll see you over there.